how to buy, mint, and list your own Solana NFTs. So I've made some gaming NFTs, which integrate with my game, hopefully. Um, but I'm just gonna show you how to set up your own um, store. Very easy, like the easiest way I've found. You don't have to do um, any coding. The fees aren't ridiculous. Like I tried setting up with Ethereum first on OpenSea, but it's like a hundred pounds to just list stuff on there and do things. So the fees and the gas fees are ridiculous. Whereas Solana is just below Ethereum on coin market cap, but you can basically do the same thing. Like it's here, number seven right now, but I've seen it on number five before. So uh, where do we start? So first, you can make things like these um, and then you can trade them in your Solana Phantom wallet or whatever wallet you decide to use. So we're just going to take you step by step um, how to get there. So the very first thing you need to do is buy some Solana or if you already have Solana, you can skip this step. This is Binance. This is a cryptocurrency exchange where you can buy cryptocurrencies with like actual fiat cash. Um, I do have a, a sign up referral link. It doesn't cost you anything, but if you sign up through this link in my link tree, you'll find it in the description. I get a sign up bonus for helping you out and it just supports the channel. Um, so more videos come and we can keep this entire project going. So figure out how to buy some Solana. There's tutorials everywhere. There's one on my old channel um, that you can check out. Once you've got that, uh, you need to move your, your cryptocurrency off the exchange into a wallet. So the one I'm using is called Phantom. Make sure you don't get scammed because if it's like Google Ads, they might like try and get some scammy app like plugged up there. So just be careful. Double check your URL all the time. Um, the one I use is Phantom. I've also, the first one I used was Soulflare, but um, Phantom is the one that integrates with this shop. So um, I recommend Phantom. So download that, go into your Chrome extensions, allow it, and it's just gonna appear up here. Click into it. You've got your wallet set up there. Obviously, you're going to get a seed phrase to like set it all up, so don't give that seed phrase away. If anybody sees that, your account's compromised. So the seed phrase is the only thing you need to pr protect. Anyone can look at your wallet ID or your address. It doesn't matter. And then you can see the Solana there. And then if you do buy some NFTs, or you you can find them in this section in your collection. So I've, pr I've minted this one yesterday, but I don't have enough to, to list it on the website. So this one, I might do a giveaway for it. Um, I, I put like $40 in. Um, so this is what I use, Holoplex. I put like $40 into Solana, moved it into Phantom, and then connected it to Holoplex, which is this site. Um, and what that allows you to do is it allows you to create your own store to sell and buy NFTs. So everyone has set up their own store that's listed them here. You can then set up your own store. There's like auctions you can do. So um, these are like countdowns, but I've if you if it counts down to 24 hours, once that's over, it's like, that's it. It just kind of sits there. Um, you can see here, I did it twice. And I'm not. I'm pretty sure these can't sell anymore. So you list them. It costs money to list them, like a dollar or so. Um, and it's, yeah, it's. I'd rather just have them live so people can buy them forever until it's like actually bought. So there's loads of different ways you can like list and sell them. Uh, just look through it. Read the, the frequently asked questions section uh, on the Holoplex website. And it'll answer everything for you up here. And so moving on. Uh, once you've connected your wallet, you can m like make your store basically. So here it'll say create your store, but because I've already made one, it says edit for me. You're gonna get, it's gonna show you this. So fill it all in, you don't have to do any coding, but you do need some like graphics to make it look good. So I just put my NFTs in like a banner image together. That's my logo from my game pizza presser. So this is what it all resolves around, like revolves around. I made a game like in 2014 and I'm just like trying out these crypto gaming nfts to like see if i can fund my game because i don't like ads paypal like donations are very far and few between like you get like a dollar every now and then which i'm very grateful for love you all that um donate and support but it doesn't cover server fees it doesn't cover development so this is a way to try and fund the game so um, i also have a tiktok uh follow that and my youtube is where i'm going to post like videos for stuff like this like you're already watching it but pizza presser how to code a free clicker game so if you if you want to know how to like the nitty gritty code for that you can find it there um what else so once you've like filled all these in uh sort your subdomain out like you can literally name it anything pizza presser something catchy something people remember and then anything you need to put in here so your page description and your page title and then you're done so you just launch it it does cost like fees to launch it but instead of like a hundred dollars like the ethereum like you're talking like dollars max like i put forty dollars in and I managed to set up all my store and I, I made loads of mistakes so I had to keep like re-editing my store and then um, 
I also minted like seven of these and I did a few auctions. So $40 got me to do all this. Whereas $40, I just couldn't do anything with Ethereum. So that's why Solana is like popping off at the minute. And that's why you're probably Googling this because you've probably gone down that, that path that I went down. Um, but if you're in the future, tell me like what what showed you, like how, how did you end up here? Um, yeah, whatever. Here's my Twitter as well. I only just made this like, um, well, I made it in 2017, but I've only just started posting just to like, get me facing with the Solana NFT market or just the entire NFT market to be honest like I'm quite new to this but um, a week it was literally a week ago I was like mm, I want to try this like let's see if I can do it and then it's taken me a week to get where I am now it's fully set up all I need for all I need really is people to just buy things so I put $40 in minted all these and I'm not going to put any more in until these sells because like if I'm not putting any money in if it's not making any money so if you want to support the channel or support more videos like this, or you want to support the game, um, feel free to buy an NFT. And then I'm, oh, I'm going to show you how to mint one actually, and like how to set it all up. So we've been through all them. So let's like actually make one. So how do you do that? Go into your Holoplex, click mint NFTs. It's going to show you this. So then name it. Don't do anything like pizza underscore one. Like just name it something really simple. Like if you do like weird characters, it can get confused and it won't work and sometimes it bugs out. So just do something really simple for the name, um, a classic description, whatever you want. I've ju I'll just show you what I've done basically. So this is my description. Pizza Presser is a free incremental clicker game you can play in your browser. Pizza Presser Gaming NFTs grant access to an exclusive Discord channel and more. And then I put my link tree there. So you can see attributes which you can assign to your NFT. So just to add add something more to it, I decided to come up with some like things. So I've got like Pizza Lord, Pizza King, Pizza Queen. I give them all a superpower. So you've got like God Mode, Telekinesis, Clairvoyant, whatever. Deliciousness, three out of five, and then threat level harmless. So you've got like the, the aliens. So this one is called Carl. He's a mind reader. He's unpredictable. And his weakness is social situations. So you get the idea. You can like just add some fun little attributes to it. And then people can just trade these. So if you've got a phantom wallet or any like any way of trading NFTs, I could like send this to you. So if I host like a giveaway, I could literally just send you this NFT if you win the giveaway. So I'm going to do them on Twitter if you're interested in that, but join the Discord because the giveaway is going to be like, retweet, um, whatever it is. Uh, what is it? Like, retweet, comment, follow, blah, blah, blah. Join the Discord and then that'll be enough to, to enter the giveaway and I'll give this to a fan. So um, let's actually just walk through it. So blah, blah, blah. Collection name, whatever you want to name it. Uh, and then add your attributes. I'm not going to mint this, don't worry. And then this is the beauty of it. So they take 2% you get 98%, but every time, if you like start trading this and it starts like picking up steam, every time you make a future sale, you're gonna receive 10% of that. That's why it's so amazing. So you could like mint literally thousands of these if you wanted, and if there's like a whole ecosystem like trading your NFTs, you're just skimming 10% on every trade. So it has huge potential to blow up, but like minting them and creating them is, is half the battle. Then you've got to sell them, which I've been doing it for a week. I've not made a sale yet, but I haven't utilized my audience. I have not been, I've not been trying very hard. Like I only set up Twitter this weekend. I've not posted on my, my TikTok or my YouTube really, other than this video like two days ago. So um, this is another video in order to try and sell them. Like I want to help people buy these. And I, I know that when I was like learning how to make these, like, I struggled. So hopefully this is a, a nice um, fast guide for you. Comment if you've got any problems, let me know. Um, buy one of these to support the channel and then who knows, maybe it'll blow up. Uh, hopefully I can make use of it with my audience, but whatever, we'll see. Thanks for watching. Hasta la vista. Have a wonderful day. Peace.